Picture this. A neighbor hires you to help her out with some yard work on Saturday. She says that if you help her from 9 in the morning until 5 in the afternoon, she'll pay you $100 for the day. You show up the next morning and begin a long, hard day of pulling weeds, raking leaves, trimming hedges, and cleaning gnomes. And she has a lot of gnomes. At 4 o'clock, you are tired but happy that there is only one hour of work left. Then, a neighbor friend your age stops by, and your boss for the day invites him to help out. He agrees and joins in the work. At 5 o'clock, it's time for the boss to pay up. She pays your friend first and gives him $100. You think, wow, if he got $100 for just one hour of work, how much more is she going to pay me? You step up to receive your pay and she gives you, ready for this, $100. Do you feel cheated? Do you think this is unfair? When you ask about why you didn't get more money than your friend, who only worked for one hour, she says, I gave you what I promised. What's wrong? Are you mad that I was generous to your friend? She paid your friend the same as you just because she felt like being generous. But to you, this still doesn't feel right. It bothers you that you put in a hard day's work only to see someone else get more than they deserve. Jesus told a story like this to describe how generous God is toward people. He gives us more love and grace than we deserve. In fact, he is so generous that to us, it might seem like he's too generous, especially toward people who we think are undeserving.